This morning, the FDA admits its response to the baby formula shortage was slowed by delays within the agency. A new internal report giving us more insight into those issues. But first, we want to look back on the timeline of the formula shortage. So it was about a year ago, September 20th, 2021, that the FDA learned first of a child that had an infection caused by a type of bacteria that can cause brain damage leading to death. Well, that very same day, FDA inspectors arrived at the Abbott plant in Sturgis for an inspection. During that inspection, they found the plant was not meeting certain cleanliness standards. Then on October 20th, the FDA received a report from a former Abbott employee that alleged the company falsified records, hit issues from inspectors, and then released untested formula to consumers. And as that was happening, the FDA found out four infants developed bacterial infections. That was between the dates of September 2021 and February of 2022. Two of those babies died. According to the House Appropriations Committee, the FDA did not review or interview the whistleblower until December of 2021 and didn't inspect the plant again until late January of 2022. Abbott issuing recalls of formula February 17th. That was after the FDA recommended the Sturgis plant stop production immediately. Well, June 5th, Abbott reopened the plant. Production then stopped again just 10 days later because of weather damage. As of July 9th, production has been running at the plant. Our Lauren Coomer joining us live right now in studio after just looking through a new 10-page FDA review about the shortage. Lauren, some major shortfalls discovered here. Yeah, absolutely. Tessa Elliott, I read through this report and outdated technology, inadequate staffing and training and poor visibility within the agency are all factors that led to that formula shortage many families struggled with. The country then forced to airlift millions of pounds of powdered baby formula from overseas. The slow response to that whistleblower we told you about, the FDA says is due to mail delays. According to the report, shipping delays are to blame for late arrival of collected bacterial samples and the first inspection and testing at the plant had to be delayed because of COVID-19 cases among staff. The report finds five new resources Congress would need to authorize to improve inspections and standards. That includes new technology, sufficient staffing and training, updated emergency response systems, increased scientific understanding, and an assessment of the infant formula industry. Right now, families are seeing some relief as formula supply is improving in the U.S. According to a market research firm, in-stock rates hit about 80% last week. That's up about 11% from mid-July. Reporting live in studio, Lauren Coomer, Fox 17 News.